everyone so today I'm going to do my first makeup tutorial and I am bare faced I have no makeup on my face whatsoever um see yeah no makeup alright anyway I'm going to do an eyebrow tutorial I already told you guys that I was doing an eyebrow tutorial because that's what the most requested was for me to do an eyebrow tutorial so that's what I'm going to do today I've already moisturized my face and I put primer on my face um, you always want to moisturize your face before doing anything and you always want to put a primer on your face. I have oily skin but I still use a primer. Um, I think that even if you have oily, normal combination, you still want to use a primer. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm going to just brush out my brows. This spoolie is from Shaney Cosmetics. Um, I got this a long time ago. It just came in a kit so yeah. So you just want to brush out your brows. So the first thing that I do is I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, and it looks like this. And it just has a darker side and a lighter shade, so this is the darker shade and this is the lighter shade. And this is in chocolate. The first thing that I do is I take my angle brush, and this is from um, Coastal Scents. And you just go back and forth in both of the product on both sides. I tap off the excess. I just feel in any sparse areas in my brows. My brows are not super thin, but they're not really thick either. So I definitely like to make sure that they're a lot thicker. So um, I have a mirror right here because I can't really see what I'm doing there. So I'm going to get as close as possible as I can. Um, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put my hair back so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to be looking here and yeah anyway so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna fill in in these sparse areas so you just really want to fill in any sparse areas that you see and you do this ever so lightly do not just really be drawing no you just feather it basically feather it out when I go in here like this part of my eyebrow I do not come in here at all like I barely will touch this part yet um, actually I don't even touch this part at all throughout my whole eyebrow process because I feel like this part should not be dark um, some people think that I don't know some people like it that way but I don't like mine's that way so not mine's mine that way <laughs> so um, you just want to lightly I do lightly underline that part but I don't completely go into that part and I'm just tapping off the excess you guys bear with me because I've never done this before so hopefully this all makes sense to you guys and then I'm not like not making sense you get what I mean? and then when you get to your tail you can um, just lightly fill that in because I use something else to just really get my tail to be def defined. Now, with me, I kind of cut off a little bit of my hair right here, um, just because I like to sometimes make my eyebrows straighter and then sometimes I like to curve it. So today, I kind of think that I want to make it straight, so I'll show you guys how I do that. So I filled in everything that I want to, and I feel like... It's thick enough for me, um, and it's filled in enough. So I'm just going to take my spoolie again, and I'm just going to brush that out. I'm going to now take the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this is in dark brown. Um, I think this retails for like um, 20 something dollars, but it's very worth it. 20 or 18 No, it's $18. Yeah, I think it's $18. Now I'm going to take the same angle brush, and I'm just going to go... And what we're going to do is we're going to outline our brows. So we're just going to basically um, define the bottom. And that's how I'm going to do my tail as well. I'm going to do my tail and I'll show you guys how I do that. So I'm just going to... Just so you guys can see. So, alright, we're right here. So we're just going to basically outline. I'm going to still look in the mirror, you guys, because... I can barely see like where exactly I'm lining here. So I'm just going to. Alright, just making sure you guys can see. And this is so hard.
And don't worry if, like, while you're outlining, if, you know, you have a little smudge or something because the concealer is just going to really fix that. So now when we get to the tail, as, as you remember, you guys, I told you that either I take it all the way down or I kind of um, make it straighter. So today I'm going to kind of make it a little more straight. So I'm going to... So I'm going to go on an angle, and I'm just going to, okay, just checking, and I'm just going to take it straight out like that. So I take it straight out like that. Some people curve theirs. I take mine straight out just like that. Whatever product is left on here, I just take that and I go above my brows. So I'm just going to outline the top part of my brow. Now don't add any more product. Only if I need it. If I need, if I feel like my brush is getting really dry, then I'll add some product, but I normally don't. And then we're just going to fill in. See how that line is just like not filled. We're basically going to take our brows to meet the line. And then you can take whatever left over and just fill in, fill in any other areas that you feel like you need to fill in. And this is what your brow is going to look like. So your brow is going to look a little dark, but once you're complete everything, it won't look like this. Because once you add your concealer and everything else, it's just basically going to balance it out. So you're just going to take your spoolie again and you're just going to brush out your brows. The sun keeps coming out and hiding or something, so my light, my lighting is like acting stupid. I brushed out my brows, and they don't look as um, dark anymore. So I'm going to take my concealer brush, and this is the concealer brush that I use. So I take this, and then I use my Mac um, Pro Conceal and Correct palette, and it looks like this. And mine is just. Yeah, it's all over the place. It's really disgusting. <laughs> so anyway, I just go into these three colors. One, two, and three. All three of these. And this is in medium deep. So I just take these three colors back and forth on the brush. I just go in all three. And then what I do is I just outline my brow. Hopefully you guys can see. basically I've just outlined my eyebrows with the concealer, well this brow with the concealer, and now I'm going to blend it out. What I use to blend out my concealer is I use these two brushes. This one is from Roll Techniques and this one is from Elf Cosmetics. So you can use any brushes you want to use, That's just these are just the brushes that I use. Sorry for fixing my hair so much, it's getting on my nerves, it looks a mess. But anyway, alright, um, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to blend out that concealer. Then the smaller one is just basically because it's more defined. And it just really gets in each... It gets in every area that it's supposed to. Now I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to get into all the areas that I really need to get into. Because it's smaller and it has like a more pointy um, tip. Okay, so I buffed everything out. So normally after I buff everything out, I just take my foundation and outline the top 
part of my brow just so it can look more natural the reason why I don't use concealer is because I don't like that white line um, some people do that's just your own preference but I don't so that's why I use my foundation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this brow up I'm going to put on um, half of my foundation and then I'll come back to just show you how I feel the top and the reason why I don't want to put on my foundation on here in this video is because I want it to be a whole separate video. And that's going to be my video where it's my whole foundation routine and everything like that. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I already finished my foundation. I didn't do my contour or highlight or anything like that. Um, I did do this eyebrow, but I did not put my foundation over top of this brow. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to do is just lightly brush on my brows. I already did my eyebrows. I showed you guys how to do it. Um, I will have a foundation routine and I will have, you know, eye looks that you guys may want. I completely did this whole brow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of my foundation and I put my foundation on this like little um, palette thing and this is basically just a concealer palette and the rest of whatever is on here which I don't even use at all I don't use all that foundation but I just put extra sometimes which is a waste but whatever anyway okay so I'm just gonna go in here and take a little bit like not even a lot like just a minimum and then I'm just going to basically outline the top part of my brow and I know you guys, hopefully you can guys can see it. But I can't really see. Like in here, so I have to look in the mirror. Okay, so after I've done that, I just take my foundation brush, which is very dirty. <laughs> I used it in the last two days. But this is the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush, the F80. And yeah, that video. So I'm just gonna buff that out. And you wanna make sure you always buff it out. I'm just gonna buff on my foundation a little bit too. And you always just wanna make sure that you buff it out really well because you don't want um you wanna buff it out really well because you don't want it to be like two toned and like some of it buffed and then some of it not. So we just really make sure that you take the time to buff in your foundation and the top part of your eyebrow. And the reason why I use my foundation is, once again, because I don't like that concealer look. I don't think that that looks very natural, and I just don't like it. I think it looks kind of tacky. Um, no offense to anybody who does like it like that, but I don't like my eyebrows like that. So, I like it to be as natural as possible. Um, of course, your eyebrow is not going to be completely natural because you're putting products on your eyebrow, but at the end of the day, you should definitely make sure that they look as natural as possible. I just basically finish off the rest of my face. Um, highlight contour. I already did my eyes, of course. Um, this is just basically a golden kind of smoky eye. So I hope you girls understood everything. I hope that um, this was a better tutorial for you guys than the last one. Sorry if the lighting wasn't so great and sorry if the quality of the video wasn't so great, but I will definitely work on that more down the line as I do tutorials. Anything that you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments below.